So I said, I'm going to create a platform for CEOs called Titan CEO, which is essentially CEO peer groups. But I'm okay. going to do it different than how I did, how I participated in an EO capacity. I'm going to do it different than a Vistage, than a TAB, than a YPO. Um, and so that was initially how I was going to structure it. Um, because one of the most important things in business growth is the ability to develop repeatable revenue streams. Mm -hmm. And so a membership platform is one that lends itself to recurring revenue. Mm -hmm. So I knew that I just needed to set up essentially three CEO peer groups um, with eight CEOs, eight titans, if you will. And that would be how I would initially create the foundation okay. of Titan CEO. And so that's what I did. I spent three months, um, January, February, and March, meeting with as many people that would meet with me to hear a little bit about the vision that I had for Titan. Um, and so at Titan, we do two things. One, we work within uh, small groups of CEOs of similar sized companies. And right now I work with CEOs roughly between a million and I think the largest CEO is probably 60 million okay. in revenues. Um, and we do two things. So we work through business related challenges because every CEO faces them. That tight knit community where you can openly share what's going on in your world professionally, personally, um, and get experience sharing or group think from other CEOs is a really powerful tool. The other thing we do is we also work towards building business valuation um, because I don't care whether you want to build your company to transition it to the next generation of leaders in your organization, to someone within your family, or you want the big sale at the end of the day. It's about building your company with the right structure. And so some of the work that we do is structured around eight foundational values, uh, things like recurring revenue is one of them. Uh, the owner's trap, right? Which is how much of your business requires you working in it versus on it. Mm -hmm. um, and so similar to a value builder model, right? We look at these eight specific growth drivers and we bring in course curriculum that ties into those things. So that's one aspect of Titan. The other most important thing that I think every CEO needs besides a peer group is they need a community. And I recognize the value of community through what we built on the pages of the magazine, off the pages of the magazine, and through the digital platform. And so to me, that was something that was really missing here in Colorado. And that was a gated community for CEOs, for, for vetted individuals that are different in their approaches, in their thought. Uh, we call them the entrepreneurs, right? We call them the titans of industry. And so that was how the Titan 100 program was brought here to Colorado. It's not a new concept. I did it back on the East Coast successfully in several different markets, mm -hmm. but I realized that nothing existed here in Colorado. And so that's how mm -hmm. I set off after a, a year of launching Titan CEO to then say, okay, now that I've gotten enough CEOs in the community, I've done enough events here locally, I'm ready to launch this new platform, which is the community play. And that's for the CEOs that are in the Titan CEO peer groups that want access to community. And it's also for the CEOs that apply for that, that want all of the benefits that come along with the Titan 100 program. How, what's the primary difference between Vistage or EO or YPO? Like, how would you like quickly with just in, in one sentence or two, what, what's the primary difference? Cause I, as a CEO myself for RiderFlex, you know, and I was a CEO for a couple of companies before I started RiderFlex, you know, I get those phone calls all the time. I have several people trying to recruit me into these different things. What's the quick difference? You know, I think there's benefits, there's pros and cons to every CEO peer group. It's about finding your tribe. So mm -hmm. for some CEOs, it's really hard for them to break away for a full day. Um, that might be a challenge that they see with one peer group over another. For others, it's the quantity of people. For others, it's the quality of people. For others, it's the curriculum. For some, it's facilitator or non-facilitator led. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. 
I see pros and cons on all sides. And so, um, and I, I will tell you, I've put a lot of CEOs over my career, especially in the East Coast, into Vistage, into TAB, into YPO, um, into other, you know, CEO related groups. I think they're all amazing. You have to find your peer, your sort of mm. CEO tribe um, because lifelong friendships can be built. And if you find the right one that gives you the opportunity to openly express your deepest thoughts as a CEO, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the value is immense. Yeah, very good. What's So is it a monthly an fee? Is it an annual fee? How does that work if you want to join? Walk us through that. Yep. So you can visit us at titanceo.com to learn more information first. But yeah, it's a monthly commitment um, for three to four hours once a month. We also offer private one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, either monthly or bi-monthly. It depends on what the needs of the CEO are. And then also there's a community platform for those CEOs that are looking to expand their networks beyond their peer group. Mm, are those things you just mentioned, are those extra fees? I'm guessing you pay a little bit more depending on what you sign it up It depends. For? Yeah, there's a couple of different levels of membership depending on the needs of the CEO. Do I have to sign up for a full year or can I pay month to month? So it's an annual commitment, but okay. you pay month to month. <laughs> so there's okay. it takes time to kind of get integrated into a group. Um, mm -hmm. Speaking from experience, you know, it's about when you're the new one in the group, that's been around for a while. It's about six months, mm. I feel, before you feel really comfortable and you just sort of know who's in, in your circle. Um, that's just been my experience. How many members do you have? Do you call them members or clients or I don't know what you call yeah, them? Yeah, members. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I have I have three CEO peer groups right now here in Colorado. I also have um, two virtual CEO groups that I um, facilitate that okay. are in partnership with the 2% CEO mastermind. So those are my people too. Um, I, uh, and that's um, sponsored in part by Foresight CFO. So let me just, so the listeners don't get confused. This 2% CEO coach that you have on your LinkedIn, is that a mm -hmm. separate entity that you do it private is. consulting for on your, okay. Correct. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I can sign up to be part of Titan CEO and be part of the group, but I can also get Jamie on the side personally for some coaching <laughs> through 2%. Is that, is that right? <laughs> Something like that. Yes. There's a little bit more detail. <laughs> if you think today's tip or guest interview can help someone you know, please share this with them. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The Riderflex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviewing. You can visit riderflex.com to learn more about us and get information and pricing on the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.